what's up y'all welcome and welcome back to jay's journey to nails and today i'm going to be doing a refill on my mom she's gonna be mad i told y'all it's her but yeah i'm doing a refill on my mama and um first i'm gonna start off by pushing back the cuticles you don't want to just scrape 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 do it gently and do it nicely like you don't have to be all rough you don't have to do the most um just pushing back enough to where you can see the new growth from the previous set and i just want to shout out my mama one time because i appreciate her so much she has been so supportive of me and i just you know is i'm very grateful and now i'm just going in with my 180 grit sanding band and removing the shine from the nail from the previous set as well as from the new growth of her natural nails and with this you want to be very careful because these sanding bands they will burn they will cut you so you can't hear it but a lot of the time i'm asking like let me know if it's burning let me know if it's burning or anything but then too you want to make sure that your speed is set at a speed to where it will not burn and you want to make sure you're not putting pressure on the drill when you're um doing your e-filing Now that I filed and um, dusted off the nails, I'm going in with my Mia Secret Dehydrator and Primer. I'm putting this only on the natural nail, only on where the new growth is. That way it removes any of the oils, you know, our skin. Some people's skin naturally oily. So you wanna make sure all of that uh, is removed. That way it won't be any lifting. now it's time for the application so i'm going in with my uh kira sky monomer and i'm using me a secret clear and you don't have to use be big beads um just get you a nice small to medium sized bead depending on how much new growth there is and just go from there you don't have to use a big old you know big old clump of acrylic just go in with what you need um what i recommend as a beginner i recommend starting off with a little that way you can just fill in as you need if needed now if you start off with a big bead with a refill it's gonna make the nails bulky so just please be very careful and don't forget to um make sure that your apex is looking good too you want to look at the nails from every other angle and i do apologize for um the angle of my camera i'm still getting used to this y'all and i just get so into doing the set that i don't realize it's off camera or halfway off camera until i'm like oh crap i'm recording this so uh yeah i do apologize Once again, just start off with a medium to small size bead um, and gently pull it down, not all the way to the tip because you don't want your tip to be too thick. 
um but just make sure you're forming a nice apex now on this nail specifically it doesn't look like i have a an apex but that's an illusion let me explain <laughs> So this is her second refill. I usually don't do like second refills. I want to do a new set after the first refill. And I did not foul as much as I should have um, in the beginning with the 180 grit. So it kind of looked like you can kind of see through to where the old set meets the new set. Like it's kind of like transparent. And I didn't realize that until I started editing the video. But moving forward... Um, I'll do better with fouling before I start applying the acrylic when I'm doing a refill. Now my mama likes to have a touch of glitter as we call it. So um, I went in and dipped my brush in the monomer and I dipped it in the clear acrylic and then took the clear acrylic and dipped it into the glitter. That's just the way I do it when I'm doing a refill. Um, you can actually just mix up the glitter and some clear acrylic and that'll be easier but she likes to change the color so i didn't want to just kind of like waste it so um yeah i just dipped it in a clear acrylic and then dipped the acrylic and the glitter and went from there And here you'll see me going in to encapsulate the glitter nails with clear acrylic. And this is just for protection when fouling. I don't want to foul any of the glitter off. And then I'm doing it kind of thin. That way the nail won't be bulky and I won't have to do a lot of fouling anyway. Now it's time to go in and make sure the shape is crisp. Um, of course, I'm using my 8080 grit hand file and I file the sides, the free edge and on top of the nail to remove any lumps. And now I'm going in with my ceramic drill bit. Um, I'm going to start off going around the cuticle area. And um, once again, I apologize about the angles. Um, but anyways, I'm just going around the cuticle area and then along the body of the nail to remove any um, lumps that I could not get with the hand file. And when you're filing around the cuticle area, you want to file enough to where you see the acrylic meet the natural nail so you don't want any acrylic on the skin because that will cause lifting almost immediately and also i did not have my drill speed up very high um i saw some video by young nails i believe it said sometimes it's not good to use it at a low setting or at the lowest setting so i tried to you know bump my my game up a little bit and it's definitely helpful um i didn't spend a lot of time filing as i usually do i just made sure i was very careful around the cuticle area because i did not want to cut her
and now i'm just going to go in and buff the nails with these little cute little buffers i got off of amazon And now I'm going in with my V-Shine gel top coat and I'm going to apply some polish on each finger and then let it cure for 60 seconds. And at that point, she'll be good to go. And this is how they came out uh, the white tips with a touch of glitter and I do want to thank everybody who tuned in subscribe if you have not done so already comment like share and you can follow me on Instagram as well at Jay's journey to nails bye